Mr. Rupp, Mr. Moderator, David Lang, 66 Park Avenue. I rise to uh, offer an amendment. Mr. Moderator, I move to reduce the operating proposed operating budget by the amount of $15,600. I get a second. I'll second. Second. Seconded by Ms. Woolsey. Mr. Moderator, my intention is simple. Over a decade ago, the New Hampshire Municipal Association, under the auspices of its risk pools that provide health care to the cities and towns and the taxpayers of this state, lost their way. They've spent millions and millions of taxpayer dollars fighting regulation ignoring the law, ignoring the courts. My intention, Mr. Moderator, is to reduce $14,800 from line 4196.9.560, $700 from, point, from line 002, .41302, and to remove $100 from line 002.413, 02.6100. See, Mr. Moderator, the, in order for the town to pay dues, the legislative body has to approve of it. The City of Manchester left membership years ago. They're doing just fine. The town of Hampton will do just fine if we leave membership. They didn't learn anything over a decade ago. Here's what's even more troubling. Never mind the behavior. Never mind what they did to innocent people, taxpayers, active and retired employees of this state. Never mind that. Look what they're doing next Wednesday before the general court, the legislature of this state. They're trying to pass legislation to remove our ability to elect our town clerk. I'm going to tell you, I've known several of our town clerks very well, personal friends of mine. We've had some of the greatest in this state, including the one that currently serves. We didn't ask the NHMA to go and take our right away. They just did it. They did it because they believed it was the right thing to do. They don't ask us. They don't talk to us. They don't deserve our money. And they certainly don't deserve our membership. So asking this deliberative session to support my amendment, but do one step further. If we are the only town, use your voice, send a message, tell those folks that sit at the New Hampshire Municipal Association table, enough is enough. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lang. If I could, Mr. Lang, just for the administrative assistant, if you could just write down, I understand your uh, amendment is to reduce the operating budget by $15,600. Is that correct? $15,600. Okay. And I understand Mr. Lang's uh, uh, amendment is to uh, take out of the budget monies uh, dues for the uh, town's membership of the New Hampshire Municipal Association? That's correct. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, well, we're getting Mr. Lang just to put that in writing. Mr. Lang has been recognized in other forms, and it, it's really uh, overdue. Um, he has been on a crusade uh, for many years relative to how um, municipal uh, government's uh, contributions relative to the health insurance uh, have been handled. And um, as I uh, say, it's many years and a dogged effort through the courts uh, to achieve a result, positive result. So um, I, I think somebody on the Board of Selectmen can probably tell us that there's money coming back to the town, there's money coming back to other municipalities as a result of that effort. So I'd um, just like to thank Mr. Lang for those efforts on behalf of the, uh, the citizens of the town of Hampton. We have an amendment on the floor. Uh, it's been seconded so that anyone who's speaking at this time is to be heard on the amendment only. If you don't wish to be heard on the amendment, if no one wishes to be heard on the amendment, we'll take a vote on the amendment. We're going to get the, uh, the amendment to the uh, administrative assistant, make sure we have the number correct because it uh, reduces the, uh, the bottom line of the proposed um, operating budget. Does anybody wish, while we're doing that, wish to be heard? Uh, Mr. Nichols. Yeah, I, I would simply comment that um, I, I wasn't able to completely follow all the different lines, but <clears throat> it appears to affect the operating budget in the area of our dues related to the New Hampshire Municipal Association, which is a different entity 
than the LGC Health Trust or the LGC PLT. Um, NHMA essentially serves as a lobbyist for the benefit of the cities and towns in an effort to influence the legislature on issues um, in areas that would be in the interests of the uh, cities and towns. I worked very closely with the M N M NHMA several years ago to influence legislation that ultimately repealed spiking. Um, they were instrumental in, in, in causing that legislation to be repealed, saving Hampton perhaps 500000 or a million dollars or more a year. Special interests certainly have um, their own army of lobbyists influencing the legislature, and I believe that if this momentum of this carried forward to the extent that many other cities and towns were doing it, we would not have an equal playing field. I don't think we've got an equal playing field in Concord today from a lobbyist standpoint. It's been the case for a number of years that NHMA has represented us, um, and I am not in favor of this amendment. Ms. Wolsey? Yes. Mr. Moderator and members of the public, the NHMA is the organization that spawned this problem. They're the ones who wrote the legislation without penalties in the 90s, without penalties, and allowed these health trusts and property trusts and liability trusts and workers' comp to go unmonitored, unchecked, and now we're in the soup, and they've stolen money, stolen money from you and from me and from employees and retired employees. They are doing us no service now, and I would vote absolutely to support this, article, this amendment. Thank you, Ms. Wilson. Mr. Lang, I just want to make sure, is the total reduction 15600 Yes. Okay. And it's comprised of three components. Yes, 14896 and the last Okay. Thank you. Mr. Margaret, if you will, please. Thank you. I have vocally disagreed with. But one thing the town of Hampton has always stood for, it's always stood for an attempt to do the right thing each and every time. We need to speak loudly. Never mind about spiking and picketing and anything else that you hear. Understand that your money was misused. And the only way that you can stop that is to speak loudly. And I'm asking you to end this relationship until they get their act together. And then the town of Hampton will once again consider whether it should join or not. Thank you. All right, are we ready for a vote on the amendment? The amendment is to reduce the operating budget by $15,600. If you're in favor of the Lang Amendment, raise your hands. Down cards. All those opposed, raise your cards. Down cards. I declare that the Lang Amendment has passed and the bottom line of the budget is reduced by $15,600. Uh, I believe